Hello, this is Mrs. Stout, and we are going to do another video uh, entitled Performance Task Roller Coaster Design. This video is intended to aid you as you complete your project in Algebra 2. Um, this is Algebra 2B. This is the first project you're going to have in Algebra 2B. First thing you need to do is click on the Performance Task Worksheet, which is going to bring up a Word document looks similar to this. You're going to be working with radical equations, extraneous roots, solving equations containing two radicals. You've been doing this for this chapter. Uh, the goal in this project is to use your graphing calculator and to have a real-life scenario of uh, how to use these extraneous roots. In the directions, it says complete each of the following tasks, reading carefully as you go, take screenshots, make sure that you use your equation editor to type in equations with math symbols that cannot be typed from the keyboard. You're going to be graded on the work that you show in addition to your answers. If something is worth 10 points, don't just simply put an answer. You're not going to get full credit for that. At the end of this activity, you will be uploading it onto E2020, or you can uh, post it below this video as your submission. So the first problem says, write an equation that models the height of the roller coaster. In bold here, we see that the roller coaster is 30 feet off the ground and that the center of the half circle is at zero, zero. If, this, if it's 30 feet off the ground, that means the radius is 30. And so we're going to put in a 30 for the R value in the equation of this circle uh, underneath number 1. It says x squared plus y squared equals R squared. All you have to do here is put in an R, 30 for R, and then square it. Then you're going to solve the equation for y. In other words, you need to get y equals. Please remember here to show work. Don't just simply give me the equation. I can only give you five points for the equation and five points for the work. Next, it says graph the model using a graphing calculator. Take a screenshot of your graph. I'd like to just pull up. Uh, I'm using the graphing calculator located in E2020. I have solved. I have solved for y, and you'll see my half circle. I want to remind you how to take a screenshot. If you're on a PC, you're going to hit Alt, Print Screen. Print Screen is located just above the Backspace button. That's going to grab your entire screen. Uh, if you choose to do that method, make sure that you make your graph look like this, covering your whole screen so that that's all I get in your submission. Otherwise, you can um, do a copy-paste of that into the program Paint. You can then crop your graph and then copy-paste it into this assignment. If you're on a Mac, you do Command-Shift-4, creates the crosshairs. You then create a crop box when you release it. Listen carefully. It takes a picture. It is now stored on my desktop. Let's move things around here a little bit. Here it is up here in the corner. I'm just going to simply drag it and it's going to insert it into my assignment for me. So there's two ways, whether you're on a Mac or whether you're on a PC, there's different ways how to take a screenshot. Not a difficult uh, thing to do. So we have put that in. We're good with that. Next it says, one plan, i got to bring this up here, can't see it very good. One plan to secure the roller coaster is to use a chain fastened to two beams equal distance, that means the same distance out from the axis of symmetry. Obviously our axis of symmetry here is our y-axis. So they're saying they're going to put two beams equally far out from the axis of symmetry. That's the x direction. Let's continue reading. You need to determine where to place the beam so that the chains are fastened to the roller coaster at a height of 25 feet. 
Well, is your height, is that your x-axis or your y-axis? Clearly, height is y-axis. So I need my y to be 25 feet. That means how tall it gets. So I'm going to put y equals 25. As soon as I do that in my graphing calculator, and I, you, know, you know that you can just click on it and drag, it's going to lock right into place on either side. So I can see that x is 16.583 and positive 16.583. That's important to note that those are equidistant from the origin. It says, but that's not what it tells me to do in part A, uh, number three. It says write an equation. Well, we just talked about that y is 25. If you have two equations that both say y equals, then using the substitution, substitution method, if y equals y, then we can say the, cir the half circle equation is equal to 25. I'm just getting you started here. I am not giving you the equation. You need to figure that out. But I am telling you that we have two equations. y is the square root of 900 minus x squared, and y is 25. We know that y equals y, so therefore you can set the other two equal to each other. That's 10 points, just the equation. Next, you need to actually solve it, and you need to get x equals. Now recall, back on our graphing calculator, you know what x should be. You found that just by looking at the graph. So you need to get x equals 16.583 as your solution, but I need to see the work of how you got that. Explain where to place the two beams. Ten points just for describing now where those vertical beams are located. Um, I'm not going to say much more than that, except that you need to use directional kind of words. You need to use distance uh, units. Don't just say, don't just give me the two answers for x. Another plan to secure the roller coaster involves a cable strut. So we're going to keep our roller coaster uh, original f uh, equation for the roller coaster in place. But now instead of a vertical beam, we're going to use a concrete strut that is y equals the root of 2x plus 8. So I'm going to take some time here. Square root 2x plus 8. And you can see, and we have a cable that says y equals x minus 8. So we've got a cable and we've got a strut. And so your graph should look something like this. I would like it, please, if you would, you know, oops, I just got rid of my second one. There we go. I must have accidentally hit the, if you could color code those, it does help. And we can see the cross points just by putting those in. Take a screenshot. The directions say take a screenshot. Again, that's Alt Print Screen. And if you're going to do that, make sure that your graph is taking up your entire screen so that all I see in your submission is the graph. Or if you're on a Mac, you can do Command Shift 4. Grab the graph. And now it's stored on your desktop. And you can grab that and put it over in your solution. So either way, you don't get a ton of points for just typing in equations. It says find out where they intersect. Where do the strut and the cable intersect? So you're going to take your x minus 8, and you're going to take your root 2x minus 8 and set those equal to each other. Sorry, I'm getting some other people in the building here. Finally, it says, 
we've got two concrete struts on either, uh, on either side of the center of the leg. And so we're going to use the half circle as the origin. And we've get now got two new struts. We've got the square root of x plus 8. And over here we've got square root x minus 4. Now, it says a vertical reinforcement will, be, will extend from one strut to the other when the two cables are two feet apart. If you notice on my picture here, if this is inside, okay, we need the vertical distance to be 2. In the video that preceded this activity, uh, it showed you that if you took the two functions and you subtracted them, you could get the distance in between, the y distance. So what I'm going to show you is that if I take my red graph and I subtract my blue graph, I can get the distance between. The red graph is root x plus 8. Now I'm going to subtract the square root of x minus 4. That needs to be equal to 2. This is one of those situations where you have to do the process twice. You have to square both sides twice. Because the first thing you do is you move the square root of x minus 4 to the other side. Square both sides. You're going to have to foil. Then you're still going to have some square roots, so you need to move everything else back to the left and then foil again. You will get an answer, though, that makes a lot of sense. Recall that a reinforcement beam will extend from one strut to the other when the two streets, struts are two feet apart. Algebraically determine the x value. So, um, right here, sorry, this, all of this up here, number 8, this was the screenshot of what we already did. And then the algebraically, I'm sorry, this, this all of this really should go in number 9. And I want you to show your work. There's quite a bit of work to show there. Explain where to place the beam. Again, don't just give me your answer for x, but rather describe where that's positioned um, in relationship to the center of the roller coaster. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Um, the project, this particular project, only involves really a graphing calculator and using some of the information that you've been learning in the chapter. It's not particularly difficult, but if you need further help, please give me a call at the Virtual Academy. Thank you.